of our, our uh, temperature sensors, identification and selection. We'll talk about the, the two uh, main temperature industries, uh, sorry, temperature sensors used in the industry uh, that we simply uh, mostly sell, and that's uh, the RTD and thermocouples. Um, we'll not cover PTCs or NTC probes. Um, they're too various and typically bespoke to a manufacturer and too hard to find or mimic. So which one to use, RTD or thermocouple? Um, factors you need to think about are uh, the temperature range you want to use it for, the response time, the size and shape, and the overall accuracy requirements. Looking at the, the RTD first, they're available in sizes down to uh, 0.9 to 1.5 millimetres diameter, and with a 15 millimetre length for miniature ceramics. And for a standard ceramic, it's about three by 15 millimeters. Uh, flat film chips, which are the most common, are about a 2.3 2 um, millimeter um, size. As you can see, it's, uh, it's basically um, a, a platinum um, element wound around an insulated uh, ceramic base. And uh, uh, it reacts by the change of resistance when exposed to temperature and it's linear in its behavior. More people in. So the main types of RTD are the uh, PT100 or the PT1000. We can get some rarer ones like a PT500 or copper and, copper and nickel variations like the copper 500 or nickel 1000 for special applications. The PT100 can be wired with two wire, three wire, or four wire variable PT free lead links for varying stem lengths to allow for lead compensation and accuracy. As you can see, PT stands for platinum, hence its wire around the element. You will see some of the advantages uh, for RTDs. The simple in construction, the stable, repeatable, accurate to 0.1 of a degree, works well in temperature, a range of negative 200 to 400 degrees. Limitations, they can be a bit fragile, uh, maybe a slightly slower response time, and they need to be in a protective sheath. Um, accuracy classes, uh, there are quite a few, but we tend to stock the class A and band five. We can get class B, but class A is standard. As you can see the, uh, the different accuracies, the different types of sensors in this table. You can see that class B, is plus or minus uh, 0.12%, which is potentially 0.3 degrees at zero degrees. Um, class A is a plus or minus 0.06%, which works out to about 0.15 degrees at zero, at zero degrees. Band 5 is the best you can get for an RTD or any probe that matter at uh, plus or minus 0.01 degrees, uh, sorry, 0.01%, which is 0 0.03 degrees. At zero, at zero degrees. Now we'll move on to uh, thermocouples. Depending on the metals used, changes the temperature behaviours, temperature ranges and accuracy, and we'll elaborate on those later. But as you can see, it's basically two different particular metals when junctioned together and exposed to heat, generate a millivolt reading that is linear in behaviour in relation to the heat it is exposed to. Um, you see here we have many uh, sheath options available um, and here are the common configurations uh, obviously sealed sheath sealed and isolated from the sheath sealed and grounded to the sheath and we have an exposed fast response tip or exposed bead tip as you see um, Inside the sheath or an exposed bead with no sheath are standard in stock items. 
Sheets can be stainless steel and canal, nicrobel and ceramic. In some special situations, there can be no sheath and just ceramic spaces keep the metals apart to the junction at the tip. Here we have some of the advantages of a, of a thermocouple. They, have, they can do higher temperature ranges, they can be cheaper, they're more durable and they have a far, fast response time. Limitations are they're not quite as accurate and there's less stability in the reading because it can jump around a bit and it requires different types for different temperature ranges. You see on the grades, um, it's important that there are two types of grades to be aware of, thermocouple grade and extension grade. And these indicate the purity of the metal and therefore the difference between being able to use the metal pier to create a junction or to do longer runs to carry the millivolt reading over a distance for a cheaper, cheaper cost. Thermocouples are differentiated by letters representing the type of metals uh, used and the temperature range they handle and accurately in a linear fa fashion. With our probes, we commonly do K-type, J-type, T-type, and occasions for special industries E, R, and N-type. Very rare ones you can see are the C, D, U, G, L, M, V, and P. Here we have the colour codings. Um, you can see uh, it's important to, to uh, colour code them because to be able to tell them apart. Uh, from country to country, there may be variations. They can have their own colour codes that may conflict with typical standards, but this table is an indicator of the common conventions. Here you can see your type K can do up to 1,372 degrees, but typically it's used up to 1,200 degrees and is limited by the nicrobel metal it could potentially be sheathed in. Uh, a J-type could do quite high, but typically it's not used over 400 degrees uh, and, and, and due to this fibre class sheathing that, that may limit its range. T-type is typically used up to 200 degrees and comes in a Teflon coating that we stock. R-type is, uh, is the highest temperature probe we can stock and it's rated to 1600 degrees and is usually housed in a ceramic sheath in common applications. It's made with a very expensive rear uh, and sensitive metal and is uh, not recommended to touch it with bare hands as it can affect its purity and contaminate it, affecting accuracy and longevity. Here you see uh, uh, the comparison between the two temperature conventions of RTDs and thermocouples and we see the pros and cons. Obviously the RTDs are more accurate uh, and the temperature ranges, it can't quite go as high as the thermocouples which can be up to 2000 degrees for some models. Um, costs, obviously the uh, RTDs are more, slightly more expensive and thermocouple is cheaper. Sensitivity um, and also response times, obviously the RTD is one of its, uh, um, even though it has the accuracy, it has a slightly slower response time and as you can see it's between one and seven seconds. And thermocouples uh, are virtually instantaneous at being less than a second. Um, RTDs are, are, have, um, are, are robust, I, I think uh, thermocouples are probably even more. Um, Long-term stability, um, excellent and, and good in thermocouples, but they can be subject to drift. Um, and as you can see the outputs are different with um, RTDs, it's to do with um, the resistance and with the thermocouples it's to do with the, the millivolt uh, generated between the two dissimilar metals coming together. Um, and RCDs are less susceptible to electrical noise and the thermocouples are more. Here we introduce some of the different form factors that temperature probes can come in and the important things to specify when you're wanting a probe. Here we have the most common types, a probe with a head, process connection, thread and a stem. And below it is a probe with a stem and lead. Uh, most important to specify is the stem di diameter and length and the lead length if it needs it. Other factors that can be added to these options can be pot seals between the lead and stem to allow for better seal against uh, moisture ingress or the ability to have smaller stems. If with thermocouples we can potentially go down to one millimeter stems. Other factors that, that uh, can be added to these options can uh, sorry, also uh, threads part way down the stem or running nuts Triclover or RJT with a big castellated nut, typically used in dairy applications with a highly polished finish for hygiene. 
other things to consider with uh, temperature probe uh, selection. Um, obviously, uh, fast response tips. Standard means it's a simplex, it's just, it just has a single uh, sensor in the end, in the tip, and duplex, where you can, you can have a, 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 a double sensor in the tip. Um, other things to consider, uh, we have uh, different head types, uh, small or large aluminium, polypropylene, bakelite, stainless steel, and uh, obviously the, the typically stock the half inch thread, but we can do other threads on request. Uh, more, on the, more on this, uh, the options for a, a transmitter to be mounted in the head or remotely on a DIN rail. Uh, transmitters can be isolated or non-isolated. <clears throat> um, or if you require EX rating or heart programmability. Terminal block, option, block options, and you can see fixed, floating, ceramic, or bakelite. Obviously ceramic for the hotter temperatures. And obviously if, if the plug has a, if the probe has a lead, then you may need a plug. And we stock most common thermocouple plugs. You can get plugs for RTDs as well if requested. More accessories uh, available at Intec. Here are the most common ones stocked. The P1 pocket, as you can see in the image here, has a half inch uh, BSP taper external thread and a quarter inch taper internal. The, the P2 pocket has a half inch BSP taper external thread and a half inch taper internal. Now these come in variable lengths starting at uh, 70 mil uh, length and go up in 50 millimeter uh, increments. Flanges are available. Um, and they can suit your stem diameter and glands as well. As you can see, we have the, the uh, S1 gland with a quarter BSP taper suited to a, a 6 point more, sorry, 6.4 millimeter diameter stem, which is a quarter inch, and the S2 gland with a half inch BSP taper thread, and it also suits a 6.4 quarter inch stem. If you need a bespoke uh, solution, uh, we can also accommodate that if you can specify the dimensions you need to work with. Here are a few of the form, the, few of the, the form factors that are common and stocked at Intec. You can see the MTC, um, handheld HHTs, um, UTKs or UTJs, typically used in the plastics industry, um, ROSIL, which is a, a, a common probe, with silicon lead, um, we have wall-mounted um, aluminium um, RTDs. We have our most common RHP and MTHP probes with process connections, and typically just RH or MTH if it had no thread. And we have our, our sanitary probes, uh, which can have a, a running nuts, triclovers, and um, RJT with castellated nuts. Um, We can also make any bespoke original probes to suit your application. Just chat to us and we can draw it up and give you a quote. Um, on the website you can download a copy of our current probe catalogue or a copy of our latest 2020 catalogue with prices on the stock models. A new uh, probe catalogue will be available uh, this year to reflect the, the new website and the new probe code. So watch out for it in the coming months. <coughs>